tell me that you love me even if it's fake cuz i don't fucking care Hey, what is up you guys? This is Nacho here and welcome back to another video. Now, this is a huge thank you. We just hit 12,000 subscribers on the channel, you guys. So it's absolutely insane how much the Nacho Nation has been growing. I just want to give you guys a huge thank you. And I figured I would give you guys my updated gaming setup or room tour, I guess you could say, on how I make all these videos because if the last time I made this, I think I had around 8,000 subscribers and my setup has completely changed. So let's get into it, man. So this is like my corridor of my room right here, right? This is my bed. Holla at your boy, fly ass bed sheets. And yes, I'm lazy as shit. That's this is me in my natural habitat, guys. I didn't want to like clean up and shit because I want to show you guys like how I am, man. You guys know me, keep it real. So my bed, this is where all the magic happens. Uh yeah, no magic. Uh right here we got my headphone holder. This is like what I use whenever I go walk my dog. Ain't really part of my gaming setup, so I don't know why I'm showing you that. Uh this this is my desk over here with random accessories and this is like my love child right here boys so we got we got the xbox one rooney right here right then we got the playstation 3 what playstation 3 that's right i have a playstation 3 hooked up and i have the ps4 not even hooked up like it's just on the side like this is how often i don't go on P playstation network guys um i just use it pretty much as a dedicated netflix player at this point and that's not my playstation 4 anyways it's still my friends i feel bad if i use it because i'm waiting for him to come get it but uh over here we got my video rendering which you know by the time this goes live you guys would have already seen this this is the cod week 5 summer event hack it just dropped uh, on infinite warfare it's early in the morning when i'm recording this but you guys won't see this until the afternoon i got the dual monitor setup coming out of my pc right so i got my pc down here now my beast of a computer i guess not really but that's what hauls all the streams all the videos for you guys uh, i got my keyboard right here it's a really cheap keyboard you guys it's like i think this keyboard and mouse cost me around 20 or 30 dollars for the combo um this is not a mechanical keyboard meaning that it's just like any other generic keyboard it just has backlit leds which i think is really cool uh got my iphone rechargeable battery packs for xbox can never go wrong and like i said a dual monitor setup for my pc so well, i like this because it allows me to have my render up in this tab and then over here i can go on youtube and you know just scroll through and do whatever i want really nice makes my editing super efficient and and way better overall got my handy dandy water bottle you guys know me I'm a sweat I always gotta have water on me you got if you're a professional gamer you gotta have water <laughs> And if you guys have not been able to tell, this is my microphone, my Blue Yeti. I have it on a really shitty microphone arm. This is not meant to hold this heavy of a microphone, uh, but I made it work. I pretty much like taped the shit out of it down here. Y'all know how we do out here. <laughs> we on that ghetto setup, boys. Uh, but it works. Um, you know, I got the Blue Yeti. I got it pretty much like, all right, so check this out, right? So you know how they say two condoms is bad, right? Not with microphones, man. I got a little foam windscreen right here, and then I got a little pop filter right here so whenever i don't know if you guys noticed before when i used to do my commentaries my p's and like other sounds would always make the microphone pop nasty uh but yeah this is my yeti uh just standard boom arm it lets me swivel my mic around you know whenever i want to stream and uh, that's pretty much it man uh oh how could i forget man the masterpiece man i got the black mamba over my gaming setup so let me give you guys a wide angle i almost forgot about that how could i forget like one of the key pieces that i just upgraded to so if you want to look at like what my setup looks like generally this is what it looks like over here obviously on my window is just the outside of my house um but this is the black mamba obviously i'm from los angeles i grew up watching kobe Bryant, and he's like honestly i don't really have a lot of like idols and stuff for people that inspire me but he does so that's just kind of like a daily reminder on the youtube grind and it's like a really dope five piece canvas let me zoom in on that so you guys can see exactly oh baby saucy af boys but i hope you guys enjoyed this setup video man uh let me show you guys my controller real quick i just realized man i'm like remembering all this stuff as i'm going through because i know you guys want to see all the stuff that i use to help me play better or you know just everything i use uh to help me out so this is my xbox elite controller i have a custom shell that i put on it myself uh really nice let me give you guys the cinematic view oh shit it's lit boys but yeah 
that's my Elite controller. Um, we got the regular shell right here. This is the one that came with it, and I actually took apart my Xbox One controller. Uh, it comes with four paddles or four paddle slots. Um, I really can't focus it while I'm holding the controller because I have it on manual. Uh, but there you go. You can kind of get a better idea of it right there. Let me zoom in on it from afar. So it has some slots right here and right here for extra paddles, but I found it really uncomfortable to use those. So I basically just use the small paddles up on top and and it makes it really easy for me to you know on infinite warfare you go and you just jump 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 it's really easy it rests in your hand and it's super awesome man let me know in the comment section below what you guys rate my controller 9 out of 10 if i can get it to focus there you go uh i got fps vortex control freaks on this bad boy so my right stick is higher than my left one um and two paddles on the back rate my controller in the comment section below be really awesome to get some other opinions on my custom stuff um i like having a custom controller just because like i feel like nobody else could have a controller like this which is really really cool and how could i forget my two dx racers this is the newest model right here um it comes with invisible headphones on the side so you just sit in it and it gets around sound um we gotta sit on that gucci boys you know we on that lacoste shit boys you already know um moving over here this is an older model dx racer this one cost me around three thousand dollars uh as you guys can see damn it has some wear and tear on it but it's cool man i mean it's a chair $3,000, totally worth it. I mean, it's a year old, but that is where I sit when I edit my videos, and then I sit in the in the newer model uh, when I play my video games. And I almost forgot the headphones that I use for my Xbox. These are the C Audio CB1s. Really great sound. They cost like $80. The thing is, there's no microphone with it, but these sound just like Astros. I'm not even joking. For $80, these sound exactly like Astros without the microphone. I've gone to my friend house and they sound pretty much the same so those are the ones that I pretty much use whenever I go try hard or when I'm streaming but that'll pretty much do it for this setup video you guys let me know what you guys think about my controller my setup the Mamba poster, everything all in all, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Over here on the left, before I go, man, I'm finding so much stuff that I feel like people would be interested about. I apologize. You guys already know me and my ADHD. We got the Sacred Blacksmith, an anime I really enjoyed, and Metal Gear Rising. Never watched it, just thought it looked hella badass. I know, I think it's a video game. I don't even know, to be honest. See, that just shows how much of a noob I am. You guys are gonna roast me in the comments now. But that'll do it, man. Longest outro in the world, but that is my updated setup. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You guys got an in-depth view of how I work on a day-to-day -day basis and the reason I didn't upload over the weekend guys is I was just spending time with my family I figured I'd take the weekend off no big deal we back on that daily grind boys thank you guys so so much for 12,000 subscribers here's to on the road to 20k let's get there boys I hope you guys had a lovely weekend thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one peace out Nacho Nation <laughs>